Monday. I got trailer 6112. Got a pretty cool S35. Everything's looking good. I gotta go to Lamara Grande Cheese and pick up cheese and take it to Maryland and Baltimore. And um, we'll see what we got this week. I gotta be there Wednesday. So, this trailer looks a little tired on the corners. I went ahead and got the tires dressed. Gotta wipe the rims down and mud flaps. But, and we'll see how this trailer goes. I think I pulled this before because I remember these uh, erosion marks here. We'll see how this works out. Seems to be good. Let's see if I go through any rain this week. Hope everybody had a good weekend. And I gotta work on my birthday, to be honest. Today is my birthday, so another day trying to get younger. Alright, back at Grande Cheese. They want it set at 34. It should be good. Should have chalks here. Trucks at Chucks. Huh. They got Chucks all over except for the same. That's weird. Gotta have Chucks. Big ass trucks. Yeah, that should be right. Alright. Now it's all about waiting now. Get a load of cheese. Going to Baltimore. Okay, now I'm ready. Looks like they wanted 36 degrees. Just slid these axles back about seven holes. Be all right. Got the lock. Let's take a picture of the seal. All right, looking good. It's all about going to Maryland. Got to be there Wednesday. It only takes about, about 15 hours there, so we'll see how it works out. All right, back in Maryland. Edge, Ridge, Maryland. Just the outskirts, probably about you know, 10 miles away. But I'm unloading cheese here. And good old Wednesday. We'll see what kind of backhaul I get. This chalk is pretty beaten up. But the law is the law. And all right. A lot of traffic coming in, but that's how it is in the East Coast. Busy, busy. Everybody's in their own world. The West Coast is a lot better when it comes to um, the people. They let you in when you have your blinker on, all that stuff. Less road rage. All right, hurry up and wait. All right, I'm in Baltimore. Right downtown, had to do a glad hand lock. That's how that looks. Sliding axles back, chalk. This one's going to Rothschild, Wisconsin. It's a heavy load. Looks like I'll be right at 80,000. But it's a dry, so I don't have to worry about the refrigerator unit on. But I'm right next to the tunnel that takes you underneath uh, Chesapeake Bay. I went around that at 865. Uh, that way I didn't have to pay the tolls. 
Well, it looks like that's customs over here. U.S. Customs. Protection. Why don't they have that at the border? Uh, it's all about the Atlantic Ocean, probably. Well, uh, it's all sea containers here. Well, we'll see how quick it is. I say it's usually about a half an hour. But it's Wednesday, I got a load, so it's all about going through the rush hour traffic out of here when I get loaded. Okay. I get some load locks on this load. like some chemicals all right all right looking good so I will put the seal on looking good okay slide the axles up and get through the rush hour traffic it's about 3 30 in the afternoon here all right it's all about going back to the cold all right this is a tight dock here but this is uh rothschild rothschild is a city in in wisconsin right by wausau right in northern wisconsin First thing I think of is the Rothschild family. That's Jacob Rothschild's in charge of all the the banking in the world. A very powerful family. But they got a name after their last name, Rothschilds. That's pretty neat. Well, we'll see. It's Friday. And it's a good sunny day. It went through a lot of rain. I just quickly wiped down my truck, as you can see. It's the only way to keep it going until the snow starts falling. But you can see the tight spot here in this dock. You gotta swing and come all the way around and that way you save yourself right. Um, we'll see how it looks here. Get off, get off the bubble look here. Yeah, nice clean truck again. Well, it's a lot better than Chicago, that's the main thing, I don't complain. But it does get cold up here. Well, this is the place they get all the chemicals, I take it. Alright, hurry up and wait. We'll see what they give me on this short Friday, I hope. Usually it's a couple short runs, we'll see how Friday is going to be. Hope it's better than last week. Alright, I'm empty now. Looks like I gotta go to Marshfield, Wisconsin. It's about 30 miles away from here. But I'm empty now. Yeah. Build up more air. There's me in the hard hat. Yeah, you gotta have hard hats here. That's why I always carry my hard hat. I got one when it comes to putting chains on on the road. Make sure my road locks are good. But that's where originally you have that. And there's places where you gotta have a hard hat. Places like this. So I always have a hard hat on my side box container. But yeah, when you put chains on on the road, especially in Colorado, they say to pull over to different areas but if you have a hard hat the state troopers really don't have any problems they know that you're good knee pads and hard hat and a good winter coat and rubber gloves when it comes to putting chains on but we'll slide these axles up and go to marshfield all right i'm in marshfield I walked around this whole building and it's abandoned. There's nobody here. 
but my dispatcher told me to go to door 19, so I did, and there's a person here. There's not even one car here. And I double check the address, this is it. But I have a feeling they moved. There's nobody in these buildings, they're all empty. You can see inside, it's all empty. Used to be a nice place, probably. But I'm the only one here. And dispatcher's telling me that they're talking to somebody on the phone. And they're here. And I walked all the way around this building. There's no cars. Nothing at all, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. Spooky little place. Quiet. But at least I did my part. But I'll wait. You can see it's just abandoned. It's not even in business. So we'll see what kind of surprise I get. Or something. But this is my Friday. It was a good week. Hope everybody is going to have a nice weekend.